Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 133. I said it was 133 last week. It was actually 132. We were just really excited about 133. Yeah, tomato, tomato. How are you doing over there, bro? I'm, you know what, back in the groove. Uh, I'm doing all right. Got a tooth extraction yesterday, so a little tender, but we're hanging in there. That's great. I'm uh, down in New Orleans at the uh, business conference and I think next week I'm going to be eating lettuce and Metamucil to try to get back into balance. Well, I've seen all your uh, your Facebook food pictures, and my gosh, man, you are living right now. I am, uh, and that that goes back to my new diet next week to try to straighten this out. Well, you need so, to eat that food because it's cold where you're at. Like, it's only 60. You're not used to that frigid temperature. I've had pants on all week. It's, oh uh, it's really out of base. Um, it, but you know what? It does what it does. I don't mind being here. It's a beautiful time of year as well. You know, before we get going too much, and folks, we have a lot to talk about today. You're not going to want to miss this because there's some stuff going on in the industry that we knew about. We talked about it, but nobody wanted to admit it. So uh, who's bringing this to us today? Our buddy Jamie at CNJ Financial Fast Funding Group. The rock and rolling, and as you said, you need to get paid. Funeral's not over till you get paid. Jamie will tell you about it. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With CJ Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose C&J for their assignment funding needs, and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C&J to their clients and members. All right, Ryan, real quick, you did post something pretty interesting on Connecting Directors. You had a good story about making payments for funerals. Yes. Um, that makes all the sense in the world because we make payments on everything else except for houses. And I always see negative comments from funeral directors. Oh, no, they have to pay in full. Why would we? Well, first of all, you're not collecting the money. They would do this through a third-party company. Right, so right. at the end of the contract signing, they're not making payments to your firm. They're making payments to a company. But I also, this is my area of expertise. That's right. And when I teach these classes for CEUs, et cetera, um, for all of you being a little negative out there, how many of you have $8,500 to $10,000 cash laying around liquid that you can pay for a funeral in full, much less having that capacity on your own private credit card? So don't be so judgmental. You know, we are an industry looking after families. Yes, you have to collect your money. No, you don't sign a contract until the payment's secured. But ease up a little bit because... Uh, you could be the one next having to pay something unexpected. That's right. I got nothing to add. This is your area, like you said. Well, um, this is the big hot topic today. Ryan, why don't you go ahead and let it roll? Yeah, so finally, uh, Providence Equity. We hinted about this after NFDA. Uh, we've, we've done some research and got some more information, and Connecting Directors rolled out an exclusive article this morning. Uh, Providence Equity. Providence Equity has purchased a controlling stake in Frontrunner, Fraser Consultants, and SRS Computing. Uh, and it's, you know, it, it's interesting. We've, we've done a lot of research and our editor, Connecting Director, spent the last really month and a half digging pretty deep into this. We could not get a comment from any of the three companies or a direct comment from Providence Equity. We did have a nice conversation with Providence Equity. They did confirm, but offered no comment on as to why, what the play is. If we look at the history, and we'll have an article coming out next week about some of the history of investments, and we, we tiptoed around it in the article today, but 
this is a um, a pattern that they follow when they invest, and they're a huge fu fund and uh, buying three that companies. That was close, right there, man. <laughs> Almost fell out. They're a huge fund. fund. Okay, go ahead. That's right. I'm fund. Sorry. It's a fund. <laughs> and uh, th this maps their strategy of buying companies where they can group those companies together for a larger acquisition as a combined company, um, which is why they need controlling interest. Uh, the rumor that Matt Frazier is going to be the face of this uh, kind of conglomerate or CEO of, of the group, I think that is false. We can't get anybody to confirm that. I don't think it would be the right move anyways. Um, they need somebody that, that they trust if they're investing millions and millions of dollars into this, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. So. Yeah, um, it, it's been neat to see that nobody else has talked about this. And I don't understand why. I, do I think it's bad for the profession? No. I mean, I think it, ultimately this could be good for funeral directors because it's just more competition. A lot of these companies operating individually could charge a premium for services and not have to deliver on them, uh, where now the three companies together can offer what the others don't and and you can write one check versus multiple checks so i think there's value in that from the consumer end of it the consumer is not going to know the difference this is absolutely a funeral home direct play right interesting because this uh this is something we predicted i think about two years ago mm -hmm. at the beginning of our show that there's more consolidation this right. is technically a consolidation it when is. you have an influx of uh uh, revenue coming into the business and frankly um, this industry we're going to see more and more of it um, at the foresight companies we just experienced it with Doug Gober coming on board consolidating we got a few more that are coming out this year we're going to announce for uh, 2019 of what we're doing but the bottom line is what got to me is the timing and they the folks still haven't stepped out mm -hmm. what are you hiding behind that's right. We're we're off. We've been talking about you since the first day of NFDA. All three companies. We've approached you. You flatly denied it. All three companies. And so, um, I think it's a PR nightmare. Okay, because part of our business is built on trust. And if you're going to do it, great. Put a positive spin. But you don't have any spin right now. That's so right. when you don't have spin, you fuel speculation. That's agree? right. I, I totally agree. And, you know, here's the thing. The, the fear is in the fact that there are some funeral directors that don't want to be in bed with all three companies. They like the company that they're working with. So currently the companies are operating individually, but I mean, there's going to have to be some synergies and, and some intermixing. And, you know, when funeral homes find out, they're not going to want to be in bed with all three companies. Right. And, you know, we've seen a positive merger uh by between matthews aurora mm -hmm. that's been a great thing for the industry they handled it well there was they still fallout though there was still fallout it's always going to be because it's yeah. a relationship business that's right and speaking of which you know this is a perfect segue into talking about kraken you know here you are with a company that's that's owned and been around uh they are offering different things that these other companies frankly don't from a, a, a whiteboard standpoint. So this, I believe, is a huge open door for folks to take another look. I'll tell you, take a look at Kraken. Uh, I think it's worth it. I, I personally uh, like the product, endorse it, and have used it. So let's go ahead and run their promo real quick. We live in a world that's always on. Always on is perfect when you want breakfast at 2 a.m., but it's not so perfect when you're trying to get across town quickly. Funeral directors are always on too. In fact, always on is your superpower. That's why you need a superpower tool that's always on too. Kraken is your superpower tool. How so? With Kraken, you can access details, assign tasks, schedule events, and check on progress from anywhere, anytime, on any device. Kraken helps you have more meaningful conversations with families, greater coordination with your team, and more effective collaboration with your vendors and partners. Tips like these can free up your time so you can spend more time with your families. Learn more about Kraken's productivity and efficiency tools at kraken.net. Let's get Kraken. All right, so Ryan, you know, it's interesting. Uh, where's the buzz coming from? Connecting directors, funeral nation. That's right. Well, yeah, we've uh, got a pulse. We're fast. We don't have to wait for print. 
you know, we don't have to go print date. We have to get information in by it's, you know, we go when we want to go. Yeah. Sometimes we need editors, but, uh, the heck with it. We make this thing roll, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, we're getting toward the holidays. I certainly want to talk about that a little bit next week, but this one, I think this show needed to focus on really probably one of the bigger news items of the year. Um, I would say but so. still, yeah, but still we don't have anybody. So here's the invite, or if you want to call it a challenge, from one of the three companies, come on 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 the show and, well, and share your story. That's right. Come hit us up, like get out in front of this. You're already behind, uh, but try to get closer to the front. I want to make one more point that we made in the article that I think is interesting um, because, you know, you, you have certain feelings about the big B um, and, and I've got a relationship with them in some other capacities. You know, we, we pointed a lot of fingers at Batesville over the last seven to eight years of, as they've been ramping up the technology side of their business. And it's interesting in this play with these three companies selling controlling interest to where Batesville's the next in line competitor if you partnered all three of these together what they offer a funeral home Batesville's really the next competitor that that offers some of the same things with their new technology rollouts at an FDA so it's it's interesting to see Batesville being now considered in the technology conversation not just the casket conversation um, I still don't 100% fully believe that their technology is at the level of some other companies, but they are making that play and they've been making that play for a while and really building out that tech team. And they got over 80 on, on just a tech team. So they've got the resources to be able to get it done. Yeah. I, I have to, my hat's off to them. I think that they're actually making uh, some good inroads. In fact, it was just announced. I want to give a shout out to our friend at Ellery, right. uh, Ellery Balker. They, uh, Batesville, I just think they just teamed up with right. aftercare.com. They're going to integrate it into the platform. Folks, yeah. You can't be in a single vertical anymore. And that mm -hmm. includes funeral homes, uh, get together with others, become stronger because, uh, in fact, Dan spoke this week on Darwinism, economic Darwinism. You either get together, get aligned, grow stronger or become extinct. That's, That's right. the way it is. Sweet. All right, bro. Well, you keep your hat on. I'm headed to Phoenix. I tee off at 740 tomorrow morning with shorts on and uh, have fun. Yeah, well, so let's run that Sitch promo real quick. And then uh, you just talked about extinction. This episode will uh, be over and extinct. So... Until next time, have a great effing week. Later.